Good morning, everybody. It's Dean coming to you live from my quarantine studio here in Georgetown, Kentucky. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to tell you right now, today's been cray cray. My ukulele class right before us, and I've been working on Pro Tools, has just completely messed up my world today. My internet's running slow. My dog ran off with the mailman. It's been a crazy day. Well, I'm excited to be here with you guys today. I think that, without a doubt, this is class number three. On my ukulele free class, we're on class 23. So 23 days, I was consistent and persistent. I hope you're going to be consistent and persistent and be on here every day. So say hi to me if you have the opportunity. Um... I see that I've got some friends on right now. So grab that guitar. We're on day three. If you haven't got your guitar, that's okay. Why is that okay? Because you can go back and watch class one and two. One was informational. Two was telling you what we need. Today, we are going to learn how to tune. You can watch this. You don't have to have a guitar today because you can get it in. Do you don't have to have your tuner today because you can watch and go back. There's two places you can watch this. Number one, you can watch it here on James Dean Rocks Music School Facebook, or you can go out to YouTube to James Dean Rocks Music School. And if you're watching this, I need you to subscribe. I need 1,000 subscribers. I've only got like 42. So I would love for you guys to do that. Just a reminder, this is my full-time gig. Um, I do work, work part-time at my church, but this is it. This is the only way I eat. And as you can tell, I've been wasting away. Actually, my beard's getting kind of thick. So if you'd like to support me and give me a tip, you can tip and bless my family at paypal.me forward slash James Branham. Or you can Venmo me. My ID is James Dean Rocks. All right. We've had, I've had some interesting interactions. We've had some people from Ohio. We've had Arizona. And we've had Kentucky. So if you're watching this, if this is your first time, or second, or the third time, I still want you to comment. The more you comment, the more Facebook and YouTube likes me. So if you're watching this, whatever media device you're watching this on, comment below and say, tell me where you are. Trust me. It is important. Very important, right? All right, so here's the deal for today, Pickles. Here's the deals. We are going to learn how to tune. I gave you a couple options of what you needed to do to be able to get ready for that. Right? So what we needed to do first was learn the names of the strings. Hopefully you've spent some time over the last couple days. You had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to work on that. And then Monday, and today is Tuesday. So we want to make sure we tune. Tuning is difficult. Especially if you've never done it before. If you have no musical background, it is foreign language. But you had to memorize the names of the strings. E, A, D, G, B, E. Right? So you needed to memorize that. And you also had to memorize if it was 6E or 5A or 4D, 3G, 2B or 1E. And you need to understand that there was a reason behind my madness. We also talked a little bit about the parts of the guitar. Today we're going to focus on the tuning keys, which are going to be located at the top of, what do we call this? The headstock. So that's the parts that we're going to be worried about today. I've got too many instruments around me. Now, for us to do this, I had said to you yesterday, we, uh, we wanted to be able to make sure that... Um, you had some type of tuning device if you have your guitar. And there was a couple ways you could do that. You could download the app called Guitar Tuna, which is what I'm going to use today. Or you could purchase a clip-on tuner. The one I recommend is a Fender, Fender FT1. I think they've changed the name, but basically it's an auto tuner that um, is amazing. So uh, it's important. I didn't have anybody message me or anything, so if, there's, if you had an opportunity to get those, that's cool. The guitar tune is what we're going to use today to tune. Before we do that, we got to talk about some things. When I was a kid, my mom and dad at Christmas would always get me a bicycle. 
They always got it on Christmas. It didn't make sense to me. Why? In Kentucky at Christmas, it's cold, and it's normally snowing. So I couldn't ride my bicycle. So I went, and, hang with me on this story. So I went, first pretty day in spring, I went and got my bicycle, went to go get on my bicycle, and guess what happened? My tire is flat. It always seemed like it never failed. When I wanted to ride my bicycle, this tire is flat. Then you had to find your pump, and then some, I mean, it just, it's a hot mess, right? So when the tire is flat, what do you have to do? You got to pump it up. And what you do is you add air to it, and you stretch that tire, right? So it gets tighter. Now, later in life, I learned that if you take... If you take an air compressor and an inner tube that's inside the tire and you put that on there and you blow it up, then it goes, Whoa, gets real big, right? But to get air out of there, you have to take something with that little nozzle. There's a little nozzle there. And you take something sharp and you stick it inside there and you press on the nozzle and it goes, Shh. But it, take, it took something sharp. I couldn't just stick my finger in there. I couldn't stick my ear in there. You had to take something sharp. And when you stick something sharp in there, it lets air out and causes it to loosen, right? It's no longer tight. So th keep that image in your mind that when something is flat, you've got to make it tighter. You've got to expand it. But if you get too much air in there, you got to take something sharp and loosen it. Okay? So what does that mean to us? It means this. On our tuners, you're going to find that if something is flat, we need to tighten the string. And you see how it's on the left side of that tuner. If something is sharp, we need to loosen the string. And our goal is to get right in the middle where it says in tune. All right, so let me show you something. One of the things that's a big rule of mine is that you want to follow this process because I know what's going to happen. If you don't follow this process, it's not going to be good. So with that said, I'm going to mess with the sixth string, the E string right now, and I am going to tune it. To tune it, I'm going to take my left hand, and you have to do this every time for a while until you get comfortable. And you follow up until you find the tuner that it goes to. We also call them tuner pegs, which is located on the headstock. You got me? So do that with me right now. Find that sixth string E string, and you follow it all the way up. Oh, there's the tuning peg. Let me tell you why you want to do this. I don't know how many times I get new students that are like, Mr. Dean, I'm tuning it. It's just not working. It's not moving. Mr. Dean, what's wrong with this thing? Two things are going to happen. Number one, they're turning it the wrong way and it's going to loosen and fall off. Or number two, which is worse, they're turning the wrong peg. Mr. Dean, it's still not tightening. I'm tightening it. Boom! And it pops. And then they, I, I'm not lying. I've had people cry on me. It's just a string. I have had them hit me in the face before. So they are a little bit dangerous. So, if you're new, you follow my process. You do what I say. You take that finger and you find the 6E string and you follow up for a little bit until you get up to the tuning peg that it matches. Fair enough? If you're good with that, say, I get it. Now, the tuning peg. If I turn it towards me, see how it's turning towards my face? See how the pitch changes? It'll even get loose on there, but if I turn it away from me, see how it, the pitch goes up? That's important. So we're going to tune all six strings during this lesson. We've got about 10 minutes, and I'm going to do it in a way that you've never seen before. Because I am that cool. If you think I'm cool, give me a thumbs up. I just gave myself a thumbs up because I think I'm cool. All right, so watch this. This is cool. Hang tight. See if this works. Uh-oh, what do you see on my screen? 
Hold on, I'm going to fix this so you guys can see it. All right, so what you're looking at is what is my cell phone. It's running through this system. This is Guitar Tuna. Right now, it's going crazy because it hears my voice. Now, the neat thing about this app is that it's free. The negative thing about this app, it picks up a lot of different things. So right now, it is picking up Oscar snoring over there. Oscar is my Boston Terrier, if you didn't know. All right, so watch this. If you see here, it's going to tell me a couple things as we tune. Now, the first thing you're going to see on there is it shows... See how it says that E right there? Now, this is the only negative to get our tuner. I call this E6. Your clip-on tuners will say E6. They consider this E2 as in the second E and then E number one. I'm not a big fan of that, but it is what it is, right? So looking at this, another thing that we're going to see is on the left side of the string, of screen, you see that negative 10? All right, now I'm going to make it change. Watch. Now we got a positive. So our goal is to be in the middle there. So looking at this right now, we are, are we flat or sharp? Let me tell you, there's some cheats on here. If you look at the screen really close, there is on the left side above that D, it says flat. And to the right side above that G, it says sharp. So, are we flat or are we sharp? Comment below. I know there's a delay, so I'll wait for it. All right, if you said it was sharp, then you're correct. So remember, just like that bicycle tire, if it is sharp, we need to loosen the amount of pressure that's on there, right? So we're going to take and turn that tuning peg towards me. And see how it's moving? We're at 9, 8, 7, and we want to get to that right in the middle. And when we get to the middle, it's going to beep for us. We're almost there, still off. There we go. We have now tuned the E string. Hopefully you're doing this along with me, and we'll do it together. So we're going to do the next one, the A string. So I'm going to take my left hand, and I'm going to find that A string. And I am going to go up until I find this peg right here. Now the cool thing about this Guitar Tuna app, if you look at it, it says on there, it shows you the correct peg too. Don't rely on that. Always use your finger. All right, so here we go. Hmm. Am I flat, sharp, or in tune? If you said flat, you're correct. Just like that flat tire, what do we need to do? Sorry, I'm getting off. I gotta learn to leave my text off. But anyway, if you're flat, you need to tighten up the tire by adding air to it. So we're gonna tighten up the string. So again, I'm putting my finger on here, make sure I'm on the right one. I go all the way up, and I'm using this one right here. And I am gonna turn it away from me. Because that tightens the string, and the pitch is gonna go up. Which is there bam got it all right let's move on to the next one which should be what's the next string we did e6 5a so we should be doing you could cheat if you want to look on the screen if you said d you're right we're on our d string so am i flat sharper in tune If you said sharp, you're correct. So we're gonna go find our D string. Remember, taking our finger. You gotta use that finger, guys. Or you'll be calling me going, Mr. Dean, I broke my G string. What did I do? Well, you fix it. So I'm following my, my D, D string up to here. And here we are right there at the top. And I said I was sharp. So I need to tighten it, right? If I'm sharp, I need to tighten it. 
Oh, you got me. You're right. If it is sharp, we need to let less out, loosen that tire. So we need to loosen the string so it's not so tight. All right, so we're tuning here. We're do it's hard to talk. It picks me up, too, remember? Tune. Great job. All right, it's going to get a little tricky. We're going to move a little bit faster. Now we're going to work on the next string, which is G3. We're going to take our left hand, find our G string. We're going to go all the way up. Oh, it's the one right across there. All right, so we are way up here. Now, I will tell you if you're holding, we'll talk about holding guitar tomorrow, but it's a lot easier if you don't try to reach over and go. We're going to reach under. I like that better. All right. Am I flat, sharp, or in tune? I am flat. So when you're flat, you want to tighten the string. Now, this is where it gets backwards. we got to use backwards today. If I am to turn this towards me, if I turn it away from me, so it's backwards. So we want to make sure that on this side, it does the opposite. So I'm flat. I want to turn it towards me. You guys hear that? Very, very important. On this side, it's complete opposite. To tighten down here, you turn it away from you on this side. To tighten it up here, you turn it towards you. All right, let's go on to the next one. To be or not to be, that is the question. All right, the B string. This is where it gets a little dangerous. You need to be very cautious of which one that you're turning because these strings are the smallest strings and they tend to break more often. It doesn't take much. All right, on this B string, are we flat, sharp, or are we in tune? If you said flat, you're correct. If you said sharp, you're wrong. I'm just telling you. So again, this is backwards. We're going to turn. So, Oh, I almost messed up, didn't I? Ooh, I didn't take my finger put on here. So I'm putting my finger on here so you can see me do it. And we go all the way up. And then there I is. All right, so we're on that one right here. So we are flat, so I need to tighten it. Remember, again, it's opposite, so I'm going to turn it towards me. All right, good. Last string. How you guys doing with this? Am I making sense? Is it clear as mud? Let me know. All right, the last string we're going to do is E string, which is E string, E number one. Am I flat, sharp, or am I in tune? I, if you said sharp, you're correct. So we need to loosen the string. I need to learn how to turn my notifications off when I do this. All right, so... Almost messed up again, didn't I? So you're going to take your finger and go, Wah! and you should be on this one right here. Again, your guitar tuner tells you which one you should be on. And we need to loosen it. So remember, it's backwards, so I need to turn it away from me to loosen it. This is the worst string for breaking. Everyone breaks their E string at some point in time in your life. go and then we check all the strings if they haven't been tuned in a while they will stretch a little bit all right you have just watched how to tune a guitar if you tried to do that with me and you used guitar tune it it probably didn't like me because it probably yelled a little bit so here's the game plan. A couple things you need to know about tuning. 
temperature changes will change the strings. They're made out of metal. So if it's cold outside and you take your guitar out and then you bring it where it's warm, it'll expand and contract. Science. I tell everybody, music is the most amazing thing in my world because it covers math, science, history, literature. It covers all of that. So a guitar has metal strings or plastic nylon strings. If you take it outside and it's cold, it will cause the strings to loosen. If you bring it back in where it's hot, it'll expand. Expand and contract. So your guitar will be out of tune. So here's what I want you to do today. If you're an adult watching this, and you find another adult and say, hey, or a kid, turn these tuning knobs. If you are a kid, go to your mom and dad and go, turn these tuning knobs, and then you go through these steps. Remember, take that finger and follow it all the way up until you find the right peg. All right? And then make sure you're on the right string, because if you turn it and you break it, you'll be sending me a message. Mr. Dean, I broke string. What do I need to do? Fix it. All right. Hey, listen, you guys have been great today. I hope you've had fun. It's very, very important if you've had a good time that you share this, okay? Share, share, share. And when you share, you just don't share it. You make comments. Go, hey, I'm having a great class here. This is fun. I'd love for you guys to join in. Um, so make sure you get with all of your friends and share this share this share this and also don't forget that if you'd like to help support local i am a local business out of georgetown kentucky no matter where you're watching i am a small business i am not who is that company um i forgot the name of that company anyway i'm not one of those large corporations that got all the bell out i didn't get a dime i applied they said Negatory Ghost Rider. So if you'd like to support me, you can do it, tip me at paypal.me forward slash James Branham or Venmo me. My ID is James Dean Rocks. With that said, you guys rock, and I will catch you tomorrow at 1130 again. Peace out.